Greetings. This devotion is for the 3rd of May, and it is good to be back from you after some time away on vacation, um, but uh, I am glad to be back um, with you this day. Our reading for this day is from Isaiah, the 5th chapter, verses 1 through 7. Let me sing for my beloved, my love song concerning his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. He dug it and cleared it of stones and planted it with choice vines. He built a watchtower in the midst of it and hewed out a wine vat in it. He expected to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. And now inhabitants of Jerusalem and poor people of Judah judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I have not done for it? When I expected it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? And now I tell you what I will do with my vineyard. I will remove its hedge and it shall be devoured. I will break down its wall and it shall be trampled down. I will not make it a waste. It shall not be pruned or hoed and it shall be overgrown with briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his pleasant planting. He expected justice, but saw bloodshed, righteousness, but heard a cry. Okay. This is... Uh, um, imagery of a vineyard and 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 I the prophet's frustration with with the people of of Israel the people of Judah um, of the southernmost kingdom but they, they weren't following God if you will and so he uses this image but but and and this image is you know the wild grapes uh, just so we're um, aware they were in essence weeds they would not have made wine that would have been worth drinking at all and 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 so there was only one option but to put that aside to kind of start again to let that be you know and and i think life can be like that at times you know you do all the right things you're supposed to do and it just doesn't work and and I guess one of the options is to just give up, but that's not what's going on here, or to try it again in another way. Or I'm, I'm going to add in here, that's not necessarily directly in the text, but the other thing that can happen is we did something and, and it worked for a time, but now it isn't. And, and we can't just, you know, what do we do? So the option here, and, and we'd have to read a lot further in Isaiah here, but the option here was not to give up or, or to just keep going the way we always did it, and, you know, that kind of thing. But rather, there's a sense here, and, and I really think this is where it gets down to it, is we've got to keep trying. And we've got to remember that God is with us. How in, in that initial imagery, maybe the, the owner of the vineyard needed to get better seeds or, or who knows. And I know it says choice plants, but something had to be tried different, another direction. And that's what did happen in, in Isaiah. But another direction had to be used to approach the people of Judah. Hey, there was no giving up. Hey, God always promises us options. Is always with us as we try. But 
we can't stop trying. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly God, help us to keep you as our goal. Help us in your name never to give up. And remind us, dear God, that as we try and are frustrated at times, that you are persistent to be with us, that you walk with us, and that you always will. And that in the end, so long as what we are doing is to your glory, you will make it go. Heavenly God, we pray <clears throat> for, for peace in, in our world. We pray for people to come together and to care for each other. We pray for an end to senseless gun violence. Dear God, give us your peace. And dear God, we pray for an end to pandemic. We pray that all would feel it clear to receive vaccine. That people would know that the science of the vaccine is a gift that comes from you. Be with people. Give them healing. Make an end to this time of pandemic. Dear God, we pray all these things for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.